Farm Guy here with a new mod for consoles. Yes, but it is also for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. The update was to add this to consoles, as well as true strip till effect fixed and bug fixes. Changelog 1.001 console version added. Yes, what is this? This is the Joukowsky strip till cedar. I believe that's how it's pronounced by Sid Modding H and JHHG Modding. I'm on PS5 on Fox Farm here. This is 23.99 megabytes to download. It is a pack of three, two, well, three pieces of equipment and I will do my best to try to explain what these all do and how they work together. There are a number of different configurations that you can use with this and it can look somewhat complex, at least it's for me because it's taken me some time to figure this out. 14 slots each for these big things and uh, seven slots for the cedar. Now this is actually the part that seeds and these are the parts that cultivate and fertilize. Now we will kind of explain that as best I can as we go along. Let's first find them in the store under tools and cedars. And here are all three of them. There is a difference between the first and the second one. Uh, it is subtle at first unless until you get to know it besides the Besides, the price and the size down at the bottom is can be somewhat confusing when looking at it. Well, so this STK 300, 170 uh, horsepower required, 2400 liters uh, capacity, <clears throat> three meters working width, and three meters working width. Yes, it has two meters, two working widths, um, and 11 miles per hour seed and fertilizer. The next one is the STK 300 Plus at $71,153. A 250 horsepower required, 2,400 liters of capacity and four and a half meters working width or three to four and a half meters working width at 11 miles per hour seed and fertilizer. Right. Confused yet? Yes, I was. Um, and then we have this. This is the PS 300 S, $13,155, 50 horsepower required, 3 meters working width, and 3 meters working width, 11 miles per hour. Right, so that's all the regular, um, just cedar type products. Notice these ones don't have or show what it will plant because they don't. Um, right, so let's look at the first one. We have an option of just fertilizer or fertilizer and seeds. And under seeds, you have C in parentheses, the PS300S uh, that would be required for the seeding process. We will show that. Wheel Brands, Trailerborg or BKT. If you choose BKT, pre prepare, be prepared to pay $4,390 no, more for that. Oh, it's choking me up. We have lights. Beacons, uh, back work LEDs, and both. And we also have a row configuration, which with this one is uh, merely a cosmetic. Um, but notice, even though it will only still plant at three meters wide, notice the horsepower requirement. 100 horsepower. Hey, that's all right. 140, 170 for three meters, but we're still only pl doing three meters. Yes, so <clears throat> I know in real life this is uh, based off of a real, in real life piece of equipment. However, for the discerning gamer, would go with this spacing, the four row 30 inch, because of the horsepower requirement is much less, and you get the same thing as you would here. Just a, just a tip, a tip from me. Right, so what's the difference between that one and this one? Well, we still have all the other bits like the dry fertilizer or fertilizer and seeds. However, as you can see, it's got some uh, 
when we go up to row units spacing it looks like the other one except when we go like this it's like okay it's still the same but when you go like this oh all of a sudden we have that four and a half meter although the meters doesn't change the width this is a this is a three meter this is the four and a half meter yes so we have extra and we will show that we also have the lights and the the, the dry fill uh dry fertilizers or seeds or dry fertilizer or seeds that again is uh either all fertilizer or fertilizer and seeds so we're gonna we're gonna kind of try to explain that uh tires again same thing right uh oh one more thing this little fella here this guy only comes in one width three meters even though uh yeah we have ridge markers uh tram line markers sewing coutiers wide or narrow that's just a, another cosmetic thing and then we have the six row 18 inch or uh eight row 15 inch and it looks like it gets wider but it doesn't really get wider really i know it looks like it does i have one of each of them and they just they're both yeah i don't know why if it's an optical i mean uh i don't know <clears throat> i've tried i've got them both i'll show you um right so uh <clears throat> filling them <clears throat> i would recommend excuse me filling them with uh using bags or box like buying seed like this to fill them because they are a little bit difficult to fill at the big at a buy station or a silo or something uh, just to where the trigger it's doesn't always fill from a silo right let's hop in here and start this up and i will uh, show you the unfolding process is quite lengthy so I'm going to do that right now because all the other ones I have out there are already unfolded. <clears throat> this is the smaller, the three meter one. Notice it has no attachments or anything. It's just, uh, or it has, we'll show this in a minute, but I mean, no, no widening. Yeah. Let's just unfold it. L1 X unfolds it. And what it does, if we can sneak in here, there we go is it one at a time extends those um, things out and it takes forever <clears throat> yes and then, then there's that one and then yes there we're done we are done now unfolding yeesh so this is fertilizer only if i go to try to attach the cedar portion or the cedar uh, other bit to it it will not let me attach it because <clears throat> we have it configured for fertilizer only i will explain more about that later let's unhook that and hook up the other one remember the bigger one i have set I have configured this one to the widest setting. And this, as you can might see, <clears throat> has a lot more bits on it that will become apparent in a moment. This one also has only fertilizer, L1 and X. Now this one actually lets these wheels down. puts those side pieces out while the uh, tines go down into the ground or down ready to go into the ground and actually this one unfolds a lot quicker than the other one and there we are see now you can see the difference in width between this one and this one now you can configure this one to three meters as well and again if I try to hook this up to this it will not now let's just <clears throat> for sake of comparison uh, get by this one and let's just 
it does it it does look slightly wider and I thought I tested that but we're going to uh, I do have <clears throat> well let's go out to the field shall we right so let's talk about the uh, smaller one first which is over here I have it set it up I've set it up into three different well I'm gonna say different these this one and this one are actually the same except this one has the wider back on it although it's still is only three meters wide and this one has a narrower as you can see here yet the frame is still only three meters wide so yeah <clears throat> that's why even if you have the wider one it's still only three meters wide right okay I hope you're still following along I hope I haven't bored you to death yet but this front part as I said right now only has fertilizer in it it has some special abilities it is actually a plow in all respects or in most respects so we have we could lower it turn it on you could also create fields as I will demonstrate here. Right, so <clears throat> you could use this several ways to create fields. And if you lower it with that and it's turned on, you'll create fields and fertilize it at the same time. Now let's just turn off the create field for a moment. And we can turn off <clears throat> the cultivator for a moment. And you can just use it as a cultivator uh, for in your information it will also remove a uh, needs plowing state if you want to use it for that turn it on and it will fertilize while you plow right okay a worker will work it use it too although be very careful when you have the allow create fields um, option on because he will continue to plow up everything you own um, and uh, create quite a big mess. As I said, the cedar portion will not attach. Moving on to the um, configuration that has seed. So this means when I chose that, I chose the seed and fertilizer and it would allow me to attach the rear part of it and we start up move forward uh, you can highlight the first piece of equipment and lower that that will start cultivating now if you turn it on it'll turn everything on because the back part is connected to the front you must go highlight the rear part and lower it as well and then there you go you are basically plowing cultivating fertilizing and seeding all in one and it will leave a nice dark deeply cultivated seeded planted type um, behind uh, unlike most direct drills they'll leave that stubble tillage <clears throat> this will uh, leave this looking type uh, ground right um, and so just just for comparison's sake I have the narrower one here but as I showed here it's still only three meters and again we can hire a worker and he will do it although be careful if the uh, ends of your field are just a tad um, how should you say close to each other uh, they'll just keep going as um, as it happened over here um, he might just end up just keep going there yeah 
or well that was my previous test uh he just kept going it's like whoa where are you going so if you want to seed and plow um this is probably your best bet it's a little cheaper and the seed ear is only three meters wide and this okay <clears throat> enough of that let's get on to here this is the larger one in the smaller configuration notice there's no um no attachment here it has it here but it doesn't fold down because it only has it's only the three meter one this is the one that i just showed you that had the fold down and it has the extra width and here's the one with extra width with seeds and it'll fertilize at the four and a half but even with the wider version here on it will only seed it, you're gonna miss a little strip on each side because <laughs> you're cultivating wider than your cedar right uh, excuse me I've got a little bit of a throat problem at the moment um, right so how does these all work well again very briefly it works exactly like the other one you can turn it on lower it drive forward and there you go you are um, cultivating and basically plowing and cultivating and and fertilizing at the three meters so you say well I want to to do four and a half well here you go uh, you just configure it to the uh, larger setting and all those things spread out and uh, there you go you're doing it at four and a half right what if I want to seed at four and a half well you're kind of out of luck even though you're plowing and fertilizing at four and a half you uh, you're only seeding at three and we'll stop the worker there and so that's kind of the uh, problem with uh, oh we're missing a lot more on this side than on this side hmm so um, the other thing is uh, this guy doesn't seem to want to stop when he finds the end of the field for some reason so those are the issues that I found um, you want to see the lights and everything don't you I didn't put any lights or anything let's uh, let's attach the lights configure this one with all the lights and bells and whistles and we will <clears throat> take a look at that before we end this I think I've covered it all uh, we want um, lights uh, both configurations and we're gonna put on the uh, seed so we can pick up that last bit there right uh, customize and pick up and let's go pick up the cedar part of it and we can uh, unfold it oh oh it did the all right so sorry about that um so <laughs> I had to make sure everything was right we've attached the cedar portion we've unfolded everything let's hop in and get the lights on so you can see all the extra lights the extra lights are back there I do believe that's all the lights we don't have any yes we have signals on the on the back even on the cedar part uh, no reverse but who very uh very small lights they are not very bright right so and the beacon we have the beacon on the left side right so let's turn that off one last thing i didn't show the uh um the tram lines and the um, markers so uh, L1 and up in the up on the d-pad is the ridge marker 
let's lower this and lower that there we go so you see the ridge marker is already marking that and uh tram lines tram lines i believe the tram lines come on where is the tram lines there we go <clears throat> l1 and r1 and right stick left and right and down that goes and let's turn everything on turn it on Uh, oh, I got no seats. <laughs> yes, it helps a lot if you um, if you put uh, seeds in uh, in fertilizer. Yeah, that would help when you want trying to turn it on and make it work. Now let's see these tram lines. There we go. So. I do believe they're supposed to, yeah, there's, they're, they're, they make some, ooh, really ugly marks in the uh, ground. Yes, and uh, is that going to, uh, yeah, I don't think it, I don't think it affects the, uh, well, as far as I can tell. Yes, right, all right, so, <laughs> um, I do hope that was, uh, made sense to you all uh, wondering how this stuff all works hopefully if you have any questions i will definitely try to answer any questions you have and um it's quite an interesting piece of equipment uh, for sure and there you have it that's the chikowski or chizkowski i don't know how to pronounce that uh strip till cedar uh by sid modding and jhhg modding 23.99 megabytes to download 14 slots and seven slots for the attachment thank you all for watching i'm Lily farm guy and remember it's only a game so till next time bye for now